uh, forest farming to me is growing useful plants of all types, whether it be edible, primarily medicinal, in a forest canopy. So we're uh, in a forest canopy, you have levels of plants growing. So for me, it's, the, it's what's on the earth on the lower level, the ephemerals, the uh, uh, things that grow in shade. A lot of forest farms have openings for sunlight, so we do some of our sun growing plants in those areas. Well, I think forest farming, um, to me, I've been a forest, as I mentioned earlier, I've been a forest gardener for years. Uh, and for me, it's, it's an extension of that. I haven't had a whole lot of land before to work with. I mean, small, very small plots of land. So forest farming has, having this piece of property has opened that up for me to larger stretches of, of, of land. And it really comes down to growing things that I've played with and tried for the year, over the years, and then creating some type of a sustainable crop of, uh, of these types of things that we then can take to market and use as a source of income. Uh, I think that's important. So many of our woodland natives have been uh, sacrificed for the sake of money and to the detriment of their survival rate. Um, so sustainability to me is a, is a big issue. Well for us forest farming is a way to use the wooded parts of our property um, in a way that is more than just growing wood, fiber or, or lumber. It's just a way to use our, our property is um, 60 to 70 percent wooded and that's true for a lot of the properties in Floyd County and so if we want to do something besides lumber or wood production and we want to use our whole property forest farming is a, is a way to do that so, and it could be growing medicinals uh, mushrooms different edibles crafts um, we haven't gotten into that but we've definitely gotten into the medicinals and the edibles in particular and we also like the idea of perennial farming uh, as opposed to annual farming uh, yeah, absolutely. It has to. Perennial farming is our approach for the whole property, even the open areas. My name is John Munsell, and I'm the director of the Appalachian Beginning Forest Farmer Coalition. And forest farming to me is an agroforestry practice uh, that focuses on the sustainable and intentional cultivation of plants and fungi that grow in woodlands. And it's co managed uh, with the other components of a forest land uh, such that those plants and fungi can be grown. Uh, to source uh, existing markets uh, with raw material uh, while also managing for other aspects of, of a healthy forest. So what is typically forest farm uh, is called a non-timber forest product or NTFPs. You may have heard that term NTFPs. Uh, that is anything that grows in a forest that has uh, some value, some purpose, some use um, that is not associated with a timber product. Um, examples include uh, roots uh, for herbal supplements from a medicinal standpoint, uh, fungi such as shiitake mushrooms, uh, things that we can eat, uh, also things that we use to provide pleasant settings, uh, to, to decorate our tables, vines and, and uh, flowers, uh, and any other materials that are used to uh, create handicrafts for sale. So anything drawn from the forest uh, that has a market value or personal uh, value uh, that is not associated with timber. And the focus of forest farming is on the sustainable cultivation of those NTFPs over time.